it's very unique because it's like a home away from home for people from India. When they see that there's a place in Northern Ireland like this, it's just magic. When you realize that, yes, don't be surprised, there is a place in Northern Ireland which is truly dedicated to Lord Krishna and anybody is welcome. My name is uh, Manu Das. I was a student in UCD in Dublin at the time. You know, I was trained to be a teacher <laughs> and I was studying philosophy and I went to some lectures of the whole Hare Krishna movement. And because I'd studied philosophy, it really resonated with me. After about six months of studying the philosophy, I decided, yeah, I want to become a full-time member, full-time monk actually. The Hare Krishna movement is actually like almost, as it says in the tin, Hare Krishna. We, we, we chant the names of God. We, we rise early in the morning and we do have a certain amount of chanting. And I came here in 86, helped with the maintenance here. The island itself um, originally was, the, uh, is, was a hunting lodge for Lord Erne and he built a, a, a building here in, in, in 1850. Then it's kind of changed over, a few different people got it. And then we actually saw this incredible place uh, become available and, and then we, we decided this is going to be the centre for the Hare Krishna movement. But no, in general we've had a tremendous response and people just like it. I mean, there's lots of boats because we're in Fermanagh, we're right on the lake. So there's so many boats come and stop over and they just love the peace and quiet of it. As a group, we have traveled today here uh, to this place and this will be our first uh, ferry to cross uh, for today. Predominantly, majority of the Indians uh, live in the Belfast uh, city area, uh, working in various uh, IT companies, uh, nursing, doctors, and very few know the existence of this place and they are just completely going to explore this place. There are deers, uh, Lord Krishna's uh, favorite bird. There are lots of peacocks. It's actually visiting India to see Lord Krishna in any temple, but otherwise we have it just miles away. And it is not just for Hindus, it is for anyone, anybody, whoever wants to visit. It is for cross-community, cross-religion. Anybody is welcome here. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.